Hey, welcome to Hacker Warehouse TV. I'm your host, Troy, and today in Toolkit, we're gonna to be taking a look at the Proxmark 3 RDB2 from the Leckhouse. Stick around to get all the essential details. The Proxmark 3 RDB2 is an open source testing and research tool for RFID technology. It was designed to sniff, read, and clone RFID tags and RFID proximity cards. It started out as a small do-it-yourself project to tap into RFID technologies and has now turned into a ready-to-use device capable of analyzing RFID communications at low and high frequencies. The Proxmark 3 RDB2 weighs just under one pound and measures approximately five by one by one inches, making it small and versatile enough for a variety of field applications. The Proxmark 3 is a powerful penetration testing and research tool for RFID technology and can be used for RFID cloning. It can run independently from a PC or it can be powered by an optional 3.7 volt battery. It includes 512 kilobytes of dual bank flash memory and antennas that can be mounted on the device in various configurations for easier portability. It also offers RFID tag advanced functions like offline encryption, online sniffing, default key cracking, data dumping, or the ability to run simulations. So, whether you're in the field, in the lab, or in the classroom, the Proxmark 3 is the RFID tool of the trade. When you order from Hacker Warehouse, the Proxmark 3 RDB2 bundle comes with everything you need to start tapping into RFID technology, including the Proxmark 3 mainboard, an LF and HF antenna, cables to hook them to your device, all the connecting pieces for the PCB shell to protect the unit, and six RFID tags. When you initially set up devices, it's always good practice to flash the latest firmware. For the Proxmark 3 RDB2, it's fairly easy to perform. You can grab the latest Proxmark 3 release package from their GitHub repo. After writing the firmware, you'll need to reset the Proxmark 3 device by power cycle. The Proxmark 3 RDB2 has a modular configuration which allows you to customize the layout to your preferences. A screwdriver and about 10 minutes of time is all it takes to assemble it together. As for resources, the Proxmark forums has a good active community. The GitHub page has plenty of information from build guides to firmware and some tutorials as well. When it comes to accessories, the Proxmark 3 RDB2 kit has everything you need to get started with your RFID research. However, you may choose to add a 3.7 volt battery to your kit for better versatility. That's it for Toolkit Proxmark 3 RDB2 edition. Leave us a comment if you have any questions and don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Once again, this is Troy with Hacker Warehouse TV, and until next time, remember, keep it between the laws.